keep cleansing the stream just as any impurity that is the man himself ray bradbury who not only wrote the screenplay for moby dick he also wrote one of the most important science fiction books of all time the martian chronicles what makes this book special is not only is it a classic of science fiction it's actually critically renowned as one of the best things that ever come out of the field and is appreciated as a great work of literature on its own the cool part about it is that it's a fix-it novel, which I didn't know what that meant until now. This was a bunch of stories that he had published previously, and he, his editor gave him the idea to put these together into a book that talks about humans meeting the Martians on Mars and everything that happens. Not only is the book really well written with fleshed out interesting characters that you care about, he also uses this to dive into a lot of important topics of the day right after World War II. Just like The Twilight Zone was really a social commentary show that said what only could be said because it was science fiction, Ray Bradbury used this vehicle of all of these interconnected stories to talk about things like militarism, depopulation, racial oppression, exploitation, Philistinism, censorship, and conformity. And it's amazing how much these stories draw you in while explaining something really important to be grappled with in humanity. He actually based this book on the book Winesburg, Ohio by Sherwood Anderson, which I have not read, but now I want to, because it's a bunch of short stories about people in a small town. And they overall apparently come together to form a narrative that talks a lot about what an American small town is. And in a similar way, this book brings together all of these threads to talk about what happens when different people groups meet each other. And it's such an important topic now as you see hatred rising around the world. This book is a pushback against that. You can tell from that uh, starting video, which is worth watching anyway. You know, a science fiction author talking about the danger of bottling up emotions. He, he was trying to make the world a better place. He was not into where it was going. This was a pushback saying that science could be leading us down a really dark path. And we've certainly seen some of that in the decades since this book was published. So all I can say is do yourself a favor. This is one of the most readable, engaging, important things to ever come out of the field of science fiction. And it's done by a really nice guy.